life. Tonight we launch our series with a story focusing on recent temperature swings. Meteorologist Sydney Sullivan joins us live and local right now with those swings and what it means for your heart. Hi Sydney. Yeah, that's right, Chris. We have certainly seen it all this month from the snowy conditions to the very cold weekend we had just a few days ago to now above average temperatures. And it's those drastic changes that can really impact your overall health, especially those with underlying conditions. So as we head into the month of February, this is Heart Awareness Month. It's a good time to talk to a local doctor who explains how the heart can be impacted by some of these drastic changes, especially with colder temperatures. Your heart has to work harder to maintain your body's internal temperature, moving blood around more. So a lot of times a natural response to just being out in the cold is your body will try to increase your blood pressure and your heart rate. So your heart is now working harder. And as the blood vessels constrict with this colder weather that we've seen on and off throughout the month of January, the heart is not only working harder, but it's also doing so with less energy. So if you are someone who has a heart related issue, it is key to get ahead of it. So in general, start with incorporating a more healthy diet, whether that means exchanging the fried foods for more lean proteins or cutting out the salt and adding more fruits and veggies. Ultimately, the goal is to fuel your body with the right nutrients. It is also recommended to get outside and get your body moving for at least 150 minutes over the course of a week. And if it is cold outside, add as many layers as you possibly can and try to do small bursts of activities to not overdo it. You don't want to add more stress to your heart, especially when it comes to inclement weather, which of course we have seen throughout the month of January. And with still on and off temperature swings over the next couple of days, we'll certainly see that definitely keep that in mind if you do have some of those underlying conditions. Chris will be mapping all of this out coming up right now, so we'll send it back in the studio. Thank you, Cindy. Yeah, it's always one of those weather patterns where my grandmother would say it will make you sick. It's cold, then it's hot again, then it's cold again.